So, have you ever been friends with somebody, you know, and you've known them pretty well, you've spent a lot of time with them, and then they start hanging out with somebody else, you know, or a different group, and after a while, you know, a few weeks pass or whatever, you hang out with them again, and you realize that something's changed, something's a bit different, and they're not quite the same person that they were before. And, you know, maybe it's simply, uh, some new behavior they've developed or some new habit that they've developed and something new that they do you know that they never did before maybe it's a change in taste or a change in preference maybe they start watching things kinds of TV show maybe they start listening to a kind of music or acting in a kind of sport you know playing a kind of sport that they never used to play or watch or listen to before and you think, why, why this change? You know, what's, what's going on? So they say that, you know, birds of a feather flock together, you know, that people rub off on you. And they also say that we are pack animals, that we find power in numbers, strength in unity, right? And there's truth in all of that. And there's this thing in psychology known as the coalition mentality. And basically what the coalition mentality is about the concept is that you know when when people start grouping together and they are unified by their similarities whether it be in their cause or their lifestyle you know or may, whether it be that they're all you know working towards something in some form usually it's about lifestyle or it's a cause of some kind um, then they will start grouping together and they'll start supporting each other's beliefs they'll start kind of blending in so that all of the differences between everybody are lessened and the similarities become stronger you know so you might have a bunch of people that start running together they decide to form a group from scratch because they want to improve their health you know and then you'll find that maybe a lot of those people in that group despite their apparent differences to begin with start changing in you know the things that they get up to in their spare time their diet the music they listen to etc um, not consciously just to you know fit in with the group and that's because that's what everyone else is doing but because naturally we tend to sync up with people and groups that we're in and we find like a middle medium so that nobody in the group is too far out like a sore thumb but everybody kind of finds a middle ground where they are on the same page and the similarities outweigh their differences you know so people start assimilating each other's qualities each other's lifestyles the general habits collectively of the group until it becomes kind of like a consensus like the most prominent tastes and the most prominent lifestyles or maybe the most dominant people in the group the alpha males who you know set the set things going set things off first or give things more sway um, generally they will determine you know the overall course of where everybody goes now, the coalition mentality isn't just about that. It isn't just about individuals with their differences being unified in a group and blending in and assimilating all the various dif uh, similarities and lessening their differences, you know. It's not about people saying, oh, I used to believe in this, but I changed that, and I changed that attitude, and I changed that lifestyle, and I adopted these new things because I'm part of this group now. It's not just about that. You'll, you'll notice, you know, when you're in an argument with someone or you're in a conflict with someone, you know, let's say that, you know, you have a friend and he's an atheist and you're an atheist as well. You both hold yourself to be sensible people that go based on life and your deduction of the meaning of life and how everything's made based on reason and cause and effect and observation, you know, things that just make sense to you. So you don't believe in God, you don't believe in mythology and things that require faith slash an inability to believe, but something you just have to feel, you know. And then all of a sudden your friend starts hanging out with some different people. Maybe his girlfriend is, you know, Catholic or something. And, you know, you start finding that he's listening to some Christian rock, you know, and then starts wearing a cross around his neck and starts, you know, uh, apologizing and praying to God every time he says a swear word or something. And, you know, not only that, like, you know, you'll be like, oh man, you're changing, but that's cool, you know. But you might also find that he will start judging you more on your differences. Judging you more on your differences. 
and he might start criticizing you and your lifestyle and your choices, your most unwholesome and impure and sinful choices. And he might start making, you know, pressuring you to move in alignment with where he's at. And like I said, that's what happens within groups, whether we consciously do it or not. There are, in a way, these kinds of pressures that sometimes are more obvious and a lot, usually more subtle of everybody not imposing their way onto others so that they adapt and change and fit the mold, you know, and click in. But it's, it's kind of like, you know, everyone's like, okay, this is the way I am. This is the way things are going for me. If you don't click in with me to an extent, we're going in different ways. And whenever there is a difference that is created or developed in a group or between individuals or just friends, and there's a gap that's being created, you know, the pressure can become from subtle, can become more noticeable, um, you know, more obvious. And it might actually be said straight out that, look, we're moving apart. What are we going to do? We need to make a negotiation. Both of us need to make some kind of change so we can meet on the middle ground, you know, with our, with our ways. Or you need to come over to my side because this is where I'm going and there's, there's no budget. And that happens. But like the point is the coalition thing that, you know, this friend might start criticizing. That's what I was saying. You, you might have somebody, a friend of yours, that starts getting picky with things that you do that they never used to have a problem with before. And, you know, maybe his friends will get involved in it. Maybe they started it. Maybe they made a judgment and you got defensive about it, you know, and then your friend takes their side and starts going against you. And it breaks your heart because you're like, how? Why? You know, we were friends for so long. How could you do this to me? You know, you, you, you just met these people or this girl and now you're taking their side and you, what the fuck? And it's like coalition mentality. And the, that's the concept right there is a the coalition is that People will go into groups, all right? They will be bound by the similarities, and if there are too great a differences between any of them, those differences will be resolved one way or another. They will be negotiated until there is a balance and everyone is on the same level, at least where it counts. This also creates more of a difference between those in the group and those outside of the group or those that were previously affiliated with or connected, associated with the people in the group beforehand, you know, who now there seems to be a lot more of a difference with because changes have been happening. You know, it's like somebody that goes away to Christian camp or any kind of camp or, you know, for long enough or spends a lot of time with somebody else enough when they finally come back to their original friends, you know, there's been a lot of changes, transformation, and it can be hard for old peers to really see on the same page like they did before and to see eye to eye because a lot's been going on and things change and that's the concept is that when people do group into you know, larger groups and based on similarities that they will tend to oppose the differences of everyone outside the group more and they will tend to support reinforce and even defend and fight for, you know, all the ways of the group. And you get this in many kinds of ways. You get this in religion. Uh, you, get, you get this in sports. You get this just in all, all kinds of people differing in their ideologies, you know, or their lifestyles, you know, between joggers and cyclists, you know, there might be a, a bit of a thing. It's kind of like ants and termites, you know, very similar bunch of creatures doing roughly similar things but there's a few differences and it's like you know all out war because of it you know and that's the idea of coalition mentality you will notice it happening on a big scale on a big level you are noticing it happening in a smaller level of people having this tendency to you know the, the bigger the group that they are part of and the more committed and the more loyal and the more potent that group, you know, it's different having a group of, let's say, just scouts versus a cult of true believers, you know, who are so unified together in their differences, apart from everyone else, I mean, they're so unified in their different perspective, shared, that they will oppose vehemently everyone outside of their group to the point of it becoming fatal in the form of murder or sacrifice 
or punishment, maybe in their eyes. You know, and you have this with, with at the moment, Gaza and Israel and uh, you know, Palestine and everything that's going on is one group of people with their ideology reinforcing their standpoint and totally trying to negate the standpoint of the opposing group or anyone outside of their group. And it's, it's good to understand this, you know, on the big scale as well as a small scale. When you see your friends becoming more opposed, you know, and more judgmental of certain things that other people are doing, you can start to understand and maybe gain a bit of a sensitivity for and appreciation and even respect just because you understand why it's happening and you realize it's not really their fault, but maybe it's because, you know, they, they're part of a, a larger group. Maybe it's a smaller group of people that just mean a lot to them. You know, it does, it's not always about size, it's about potency, quality over quantity. You know, people will always align with those that they want to be part of, you know, those that they want to be respected by, and those they want to be look, looked up to the same way they look up to them, and be accepted by, and you know, validated. It's all about that. And when they finally gain that acceptance, they, they buddy up and are shoulder to shoulder with these whoever people, you know, they will defend them in their ways. They will probably assimilate similar ways. And that will all become strong as fuck and reinforced. And that's like the way, dude. Obviously, because we're doing it. And we're awesome. Or well, there's a lot of us, you know, either way. And if you're doing it differently, you know, or you're not going along the same lines and going to a different beat, there's a greater chance they'll just be like, well, that's shit. Well, that's silly. Well, that's the wrong way to go about it. You're playing it wrong, fool. You know, you're not cool enough to hang with me no more. You know? Even it happens down in high school, primary school. People forming in different groups, kicking your ass to the curb because they've made up for the differences, they've aligned with whatever else on that end and leaving you on that end with, with no one to buddy up with. And that's a pretty sad state of affairs, isn't it? So yeah, that's just what I wanted to chuck some thoughts out on today. It's this coalition mentality and this general habit that everyone has to, uh, I don't know, in a, in a sense, like I said, monkey see, monkey do, people rub off on each other, you know, people tend to identify who they are based on the role that they play within the whole, the role that they play within the whole of the group, that is, whatever group that they're pre predominantly identified with. So, whoever you be tangling with and mixing with, going to determine